Hi, my name is Miss Quinny, and today I will be teaching you how to make a smoothie. So, the equipment that we'll be using today would be the Vitamix. The Vitamix is the ultimate in blenders. We've had our Vitamix for, um, this one here is it's new, but the one that we have at home we've had for 17 years, and it is just the best ever. Um, and we make probably five to six smoothies a day. So we'll be using the Vitamix. We'll also be using, um, that's probably about it as far as the equipment today. We do have also some measuring spoons as well. So today we'll be making a smoothie. And this is a basic recipe for a smoothie. So with this recipe, you can interchange any types of fruits or vegetables that you want to use. So today for this um, recipe, we'll be using plant-based milk. And a plant-based milk is any milk that's not, you know, that doesn't come from the animal. So examples of plant-based milk would be almond milk, rice milk, hemp milk, cashew milk. Today we're using almond milk. We're using one cup of almond milk. We also, this recipe calls for one cup of kale. Next, we'll be adding a half a cup of banana. I absolutely love bananas and smoothies, but if you're diabetic, then you wouldn't want to add a banana, but you could replace it with uh, avocado. Avocado will also help it to be very thick. And avocados are very nutritious. We're gonna use also a half a cup of strawberries, half a cup of blueberries. This is a scoop of protein powder. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the protein powder. We've been making smoothies for well over 20 years. I feel like we've used every protein powder that's on the market. But we have one that we sell here at the clinic that we absolutely love, and it's called Metabolic Detox Complete. And this is by far the best protein powder ever. What makes it so unique is that it's a complete multivitamin. And it really, we've compared it to like standalone multivitamins, and it actually has more multivitamins, minerals in it than the top multivitamin that we used to sell. We don't sell that many of standalone anymore because we really encourage all of our patients to, um, to to make smoothies in the morning. And so this protein powder also has herbals that help detoxify the liver. And so, you know, whether you end up purchasing this protein powder or another protein powder, just make sure you have a really high quality protein powder. I love having uh, the multivitamins in here because it, it's just one less supplement I have to take. So I just want to speak a little about the protein powder. And next we're going to add stevia. And most of you may already know what stevia is. Stevia is a plant and it has no like calories. So it's also a natural sweetener and it doesn't increase your glycemic um, that in before well, the glycemic index is like zero so it's a great sweetener for um, diabetics or just anyone wanting to have like a really sweet smoothie without the calories and so we're gonna be using half a teaspoon and so we're using green stevia most people are not familiar with green stevia but green stevia is what the white stevia was before they stripped it and turned it white so this stevia here is not as sweet as the white stevia but it doesn't have like that aftertaste. So we're gonna use a half teaspoon because I like things sweet. And so I'm making this smoothie for one of our patients and she really likes things sweet. We're gonna add a little um, agave as well to it. And probably equivalent to half a teaspoon of agave. And so now this is all of our ingredients and now we're ready to blend so the vitamix what makes it unique is that it has a really really strong motor and this vitamix here has the actual variable speed and it has the off and on button and then it has another button for high and low and so you want to always make certain that you start off with you know everything switched in to like low so you want to make certain that this is over out to low I think this is starts at zero and then you want to make certain that the variable speed is down in the variable 
mode versus up high. Okay, so when you turn it on, it's gonna start off slow, and then you're gonna. seconds whereas with other blenders it would take you know a minute or two if not longer so we're gonna, and so this recipe calls for it actually ends up yielding about 16 ounces and this cup is 16 ounces Put the lid on. That's it. This is a strawberry blueberry smoothie. Uh, I was supposed to stay here for a minute, right? No, I was good.